When you wake up in the morning, shut all the thoughts going on in your mind and focus on the silence. As you start your day, try to focus on positives rather than negatives. And I know that you won't get this mindset at once, but keep going. Deliberately choose to see the positives in everything. And then once you get there, you taste the peace inside you. Start doing meditation, focus on your breath, Try to do it whenever you can think of it. Empty your mind. Use your mind as a tool for solving problems. Leave no room for unnecessary things in mind like worrying, anxiety, fear, and whatever you can think of is useless. Thinking is just 10% of work in problem solving and taking action is 90%. If you want to start to feel happy, it starts with you wanting to feel happy. We like to sit and dwell we like to sit in our own sadness. Make sure you're spending time every single day, whether it's 15 to 20 minutes, whether it's an hour, two hours. Take time to allow your mind separation from the stresses of your day. If you expect to fail, you will fail. On the other hand, if you expect to win, you will win. And this is right, because doctors and psychologists both alike, they agree that worrying actually does shorten your life and it does damage your body. We need to clear our thinking before we go to sleep. Morning is a gift, a fresh canvas upon which we can paint our dreams, aspirations, and intentions. Every day is a chance to make yourself proud. Let us seize this opportunity to set positive intentions for the day ahead. Affirm your goals and believe wholeheartedly in your ability to achieve greatness. Set your heart ablaze with purpose. Focus your thoughts on your goals Visualize your success and let this vision guide your every step. Your mind is a powerful tool. Wield it with intention and clarity. Remember, the path to greatness begins with a single thought, a spark that ignites the fire within you. You are responsible for your own happiness. Unhappiness is usually the byproduct of you thinking sad thoughts, having negative feelings, harboring resentment towards others and just having an overall crappy outlook on life. So, if you think those things, what do you think is going to happen? You have to force yourself to not think those negative thoughts. Norman Vincent Peale, the author of The Power of Positive Thinking, says we have to get into the happiness habit by thinking upbeat, cheery thoughts throughout the day. We like to sit and dwell. We like to sit in our own sadness. I don't like to do that but I just know that sometimes my brain forces me to do that, and I don't know why. So I have to force myself to not do that. I have to put on upbeat music, do something productive, get in the gym, and hang around friends who are gonna make me laugh. And it's tough. At first, it doesn't feel right. It feels like you're forcing it because you are forcing it. But eventually, it starts to make you feel better. There are miracles happening all around you. There is beauty all around you. Open your eyes and look. Can you see the sun shining? Great. Can you hear the birds chirping? Great. Can you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin? Awesome. There are simple beauties all around us. If you want to start to feel happy, it starts with you wanting to feel happy. So, short circuit those negative thoughts. When you start to feel bad, when you start to find yourself gossiping, feeling guilty, feeling angry, or feeling whatever it is you're feeling that's negative, turn that around. Force yourself to think positively, do positive things, and while it doesn't feel right at first, keep going. You're on the right path. If you can control your mind, you can control your destiny. The power to shape your future lies within your grasp. Each morning, as you rise with the sun, remember, that your thoughts are the spark that ignites the flame of your actions. Let your mind be a fortress of positivity, resilience, and unwavering determination. Every setback, every challenge, is a testament to our courage and our will to stand firm in the face of adversity. Do not see them as marks of weakness, but as badges of honor. They tell the story of your relentless fight, your refusal to give in, and your promise to keep moving forward. You have greatness within you. Believe in that greatness, nurture it, and let it guide you through the storm. 
There were behaviors and thoughts you've had in the past that were needed to produce the results you currently have. But you need to stop what's no longer needed. Maybe you're continuing a thought or a worry that at one time was needed but no longer is. It could be something to protect yourself from fear, to protect yourself from harm. But if we're not conscious of dropping a thought or a behavior that's no longer needed, we take old thoughts, old versions of ourselves, into trying to become the new version of ourselves. If you're stuck, you're stuck in a story. There's a story you're telling yourself that doesn't serve you anymore. What you need to do is alter your associations. You need to do something in a short window of time. You definitely need to evaluate what is no longer needed. There are all kinds of stories we tell ourselves that don't serve us anymore. Maybe it's a story about your past, a story about your parents, a story about a success you used to have that you keep talking about. If I can be real with you, whatever you've achieved up to this point, that story you keep talking about, every second you spend in that old story about what you've achieved, your degree, every time you live in that story, you're stripping time and focus from the new story. You can't have a new identity without a new story. What's the old story you keep for being? Maybe it's not a success. Maybe it's a failure that you've had, a mistake you made, and you're repeating this story to yourself while simultaneously trying to create a new identity. One of the things we have to do to create a new identity is to begin to tell a new story. Who are you now? What are you all about now? Where are you going now? See, here's what's amazing. At any point in your life, you can just decide to write a new script. The leading character in the story of your life is you. And guess what? You and God control the script. Listen to me. At any time you want, you can simply decide to be a new character. Stop telling the old story. Here's the truth. Nobody cares. No one cares if you've had a setback. No one cares if you had a victory. And that old character you keep playing is the very thing that will prevent you from becoming this new version of you. Life is precious, my friends. Each day we wake up is a gift, a chance to start anew. Let go of the past. It doesn't define you anymore. What matters is now. Respect what you have. Cherish your loved ones by spending quality time with them, expressing your love and gratitude and making sure they feel valued. Often, we take our parents for granted, neglecting their presence, only to mourn deeply when they are no longer with us. Don't wait for regret. Show appreciation now. Strive to be a good person. Show kindness, act with integrity, and lift others up. Embrace the present with gratitude, for it is in this moment that you can make a difference.